Insights on Captivate by Vanessa Van Edwards, brought to you by InstaRead. Captivate, the science of succeeding with people, 2017 by Vanessa Van Edwards, is a collection of tips and tricks or hacks aimed at creating more meaningful and productive social interactions. Interpersonal skills are acquired, not innate. Developing a working knowledge of human behaviour will not only improve one's interpersonal relationships, it will also promote personal fulfilment and professional success. The premise of an interpersonal skills hack is to make strategic use of one's strengths instead of struggling to overcome one's weaknesses. A good example is Harry S. Truman, who went into the Democratic National Convention of 1944 as the underdog against Henry Wallace, who was vice president at the time. Truman's strength was one-on-one -on -one conversation, not public speaking. Instead of forcing himself to suffer through speeches he didn't want to give, Truman opted to spend most of his time at the convention in conversation with individuals and small groups. He dictated the terms of engagement which allowed him to shine. In turn, that helped him win the vice presidential nomination. One should focus on personal strengths and preferences when selecting networking events to attend to gain an edge. Another advantage can be found in recognising that social events of a certain size tend to have similar layouts. Understanding the zones within that layout that are conducive to good conversation is critical to successful networking. One should avoid areas where people are likely to be distracted, such as inside the front door, near the bathroom or at a buffet. The best place for introductions to strangers is near the bar. First impressions are important and they are often made in snap judgments that occur below the level of conscious awareness. People must carry themselves in a way that conveys that they are worth knowing. Those who project confidence using body language and steady eye contact are most likely to make a positive first impression. In conversation, it's best to avoid small talk whenever possible. One way to avoid staid social scripts is to leverage people's natural curiosity. Small talk may feel necessary, but it's not. One should try more dynamic conversation starters whenever the opportunity arises. One technique to try is focusing on similarities rather than drawing out differences. Birds of a feather flock together may be a platitude that contains a powerful insight about human nature. As a relationship develops, it's important to scrutinise one's own personality as well as the other person's to make certain that both parties are content in any given interaction. Personalities can be decoded. One good method for decoding is using the five-factor model developed by the psychologist Dr. Lewis Goldberg. The five factors are the building blocks of human personality. They include openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Ocean. A common mistake is to impose one's own personality traits onto someone else. Instead, one should think about the other person's personality traits and tailor the conversation to their preferences and interests. One should encourage them to talk about themselves and listen carefully to what they have to say. Another useful heuristic for thinking about interpersonal relationships is the five love languages developed by Dr. Gary Chapman, a family therapist. The love languages are words of affirmation, gifts, touch, service and time. When two people communicate using different love languages, misunderstandings can arise. So again, it's important to consider both people in the relationship. Values are another dimension of individuality that can impact interpersonal relationships. People need to recognise that values vary. Common examples are money, status and love. It's human nature to focus on one's own values, but focusing on the other person's values is a much better way to gain their positive regard and deepen the relationship. It's important to find equilibrium in any relationship so that there's a sense of give and take. When help is needed, it's often more useful to appeal to a person's pride in their skills and talents than to their sense of duty. Micromanaging tasks should always be avoided 
because the key to leadership is effective delegation. Of course, not every interpersonal reaction will be positive. It's important to recognize that difficult people's bad behavior often emanates from a place of fear. Fear absorbs emotional energy, but their power can be dispelled through some simple form of acknowledgement. Humans are to some degree naturally self-absorbed. It requires conscious effort to shift one's attention to another person. The extra effort is well worth one's time, as it will inevitably lead to stronger interpersonal ties and personal contentment. Insight number one. Building interpersonal relationships is a skill. Like any other skill, it can be learned. Insight number two. Human behavior is predictable. Therefore, it can be manipulated to one's advantage. Insight number three. People with strong interpersonal skills are more likely to succeed. Insight number four. It's good to be quirky, but not at the cost of authenticity. The goal is to be memorable, but sincere. Insight number five. Networking is more effective and efficient when one emphasizes one's strengths instead of shoring up weaknesses. Insight number six. First impressions are hugely important. They happen almost instantly, beneath the level of conscious awareness. Insight number seven. According to Dr. Lewis Goldberg, human personality breaks down into five fundamental traits. Openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism, ocean. Understanding these traits is the key to improving interpersonal relationships. Insight number eight. Many people are inadvertently self-centered in their interactions with others, focusing on their own values and needs. It's crucial to consider the other person's values and needs. Insight number nine. Perfection isn't a virtue in other people's eyes. A willingness to disclose one's flaws and insecurities is attractive. Insight number 10. When people behave badly, it's often out of fear. Simply naming that fear can help dispel it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Visit instareed.co to get more insights from this and thousands of other books. Use the code YouTube to get a discount on your subscription.